Hi guys, welcome to another video here with me at the Aspiring Home Cook. Today's video is going to be a super simple yet really delicious snack option. We're going to take boiled corn and serve that up three different ways. We're going to serve up some buttered corn, some chatpata masala corn and a cheese and herb variant of corn as well. So let's quickly go ahead and take a look at the ingredients required to put this together. So we're going to do corn three ways. What are, the thing, what are the things you're going to need to make these little snacks? It really depends on which of the seasonings you're choosing. But first and foremost, you're going to need some corn. I just bought a few corn cobs and shut the kernels. So I've got about two cups. Again, you don't really need measures. Just work with how much you think you're going to need and adjust the seasonings accordingly. So we've got corn. The first variant that we're going to make is a buttered corn. So I'm going to use a little bit of butter, maybe about a tablespoon, some salt and pepper to taste. The second one's going to be a nice tangy chatpata sort of boiled corn variant. And that's going to use a tiny bit of red chili powder. I've got Kashmiri chili powder here, which is mostly for color and flavor, not so much for the heat. I've got one lime. We're not going to use all of it. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of lime juice over. Obviously, I'm going to use some salt to taste on that as well. The third one's going to be a cheese and herb flavored corn. So I've got just one little cube of laughing cow cheese. You can use any cheese spread really. Um, just a tiny bit of mixed herbs. These are dried herbs. I'm just going to use a pinch or so based on how much I need and a tiny splash of milk in case I need to loosen the cheese and the corn mix to a slightly more manageable consistency. So that's all you're going to need. Again, like I said, depending on which variant you're making, you can just opt to use those ingredients. Your first stage is going to be to boil your corn. Now to boil the corn, all I'm going to do is pop the corn kernels into a vessel. I'm going to add a touch of salt, about a quarter teaspoon while boiling the corn. You can adjust the salt to taste. And I'm going to top this up with a little water. Now, you don't need too much water, just about enough, I'd say, to barely cover the corn like I've done here. Yep, yeah, so the water is just about covering the corn. The corn cooks really fast, so you don't really need too much water. I like to have my corn kernels nice and plump as well as slightly crunchy. So I'm just going to boil it till that stage. If you like your corn kernels softer, by all means, you can continue cooking the corn till it gets to the consistency that you'd like. I have brought this to a boil and I've simmered it for about, I'd say, two minutes thereabouts. You can see that the corn has nicely, the kernels have nicely plumped up and they're ready to go. This is how I like my corn done. So now I'm just going to drain this and let's get on with the seasoning. So the first variant we're going to make is just the buttered corn. I'm going to put about half a cup's worth of boiled corn into the bowl. Now I work while the corn is nice and hot because it's beautiful to have nice hot boiled corn. So you've got about half a cup of thereabouts in there. Into that hot corn goes your butter. And the residual heat from the corn will actually help that melt down. All you're left to do is just stir that in and help that butter melt. You can, if you're just making the one single type of corn that's buttered corn, you can do this stage while, after you drain this and keep it on the stove on the lowest possible heat to help that butter melt quick. But like you can see here, it's almost already completely melted. At this stage, you can add salt if you'd like. I've used salted butter, so I'm going to give that a skip, but I am going to add a touch of black pepper. Now, freshly cracked black pepper has a beautiful flavor, and you can use as much or as little black pepper in there as you'd like. Again, just a light toss. I might add just a tiny bit of salt. And your buttered corn is ready. For the second type of corn snack, we're going to make a chatpata masala corn variant. So, again, about a about a half a cup worth of corn into a bowl. Now 
you're going to start off with a little salt to taste. Just a touch of that red chili powder based on how much you like. Start with a little and you can always add more if you'd like. I'm just going to lightly toss that. I think I'm going to add just a touch more. And a squeeze of lime. Again, that's to taste. Once that's done, you're just going to mix that up. Let that lemon juice get to all of the corn kernels. And that's your second type of corn snack, your masala corn snack that's ready. Now the third one, or your cheese and herbed corn. I'm going to mix it in this vessel itself. It's a slightly colder day here today. If the cheese doesn't completely melt with the residual heat, I'm just going to pop it back on uh, the heat for a, a few seconds till the cheese melts down. So again, in there, all you're going to do is break this cheese down into little bits to help it melt faster and you're going to stir that through. I'm going to add just a touch of milk, maybe about a teaspoon to start with and I'll see how I go. Let's take this over to the stove, warm it through just a tiny bit and we'll carry on from there. So now all that's left is to put that cheesy corn goodness into a bowl. You can't leave the cheese on the stovetop unattended because it'll burn really quick. So, so watch it while it's on the stove. Now, if you want salt, you can add some salt to taste. I'm just going to put a light sprinkle of it. And a pinch of mixed herbs. Again, give that a little bit of a stir to mix everything together. And there you have it. Your third variety is ready. And there you have it, guys. You've got boiled corn made so much more interesting by using just these three simple seasonings. Go ahead and give these a try. I absolutely love corn. This is the perfect snack for when you've come in, especially if it's a cold day or even otherwise a cold, wet day. Nothing better than corn on a day like that. But this is great even for an after school snack. I have also packed little containers like as a snack and taken it to work. You just pop it into the microwave, heat it for a few and you're ready to go. So it's an extremely versatile idea and it's perfect for a snack on the go as well. It's an extremely kid friendly recipe. Just adjust the seasonings to suit your kiddos taste and they'll be sure to love it. These are just three of the seasonings that I happen to enjoy and I make a lot of. What's your favorite seasoning for boiled corn? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to try it out. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you really soon with another delicious recipe. So till then, take care. Bye.